My name is April Lanat, and I'm the STEM Integration Lead for NASA's Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate, and I live here in Colorado. So my job working with the LBFD team is to see what's going on, to learn more about what we're doing here at NASA, and then take that and figure out ways to bring it into the classroom. I spend a lot of time learning more about what's going on, taking a look at what's happening within the mission, and finding the best ways to connect all of those different elements and, and build something that students and teachers can use. My favorite part about being a teacher was always watching the excitement on their face when they discovered something or they saw something for real that they had just done. So they might have read about it, they might have seen it in a movie, but to actually experience it, build it, get something to work that they built with their own two hands is probably the best part about teaching. Kids love the X-59. The X-59 is such a unique looking aircraft. It looks futuristic. It's different than any other airplane that people have seen. When I'm not working for NASA, you'll typically find me out in my garden or you'll find me camping or fishing with my family. Uh, or you'll find me and my kids at the cat sanctuary where we volunteer. We did adopt one of the kittens, so we, we caved in and we now have Milo, who's one of, our, one of our little kittens in our house. Whether you want to be an engineer or a pilot or a scientist, that's one element, but we have such a huge need for all kinds of other people to become a part of our NASA family as well. Everyone has a place in STEM. My name is Joe Dussling. I work as a data engineer at the 8-foot by 6-foot supersonic wind tunnel at NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio. For the X-59, we've actually looked at the aerodynamics of the aircraft itself. We've looked at the distortion being ingested by the engine. We've looked at the stability and control aspects of it. And upcoming, we actually are looking at the sonic boom that will be coming off of the aircraft, where hopefully we'll 